the title of the show is Hogan's Family. Is it really a family situation on the set? Absolutely. Yeah, it's real nice. Um, you're, uh, you're talking about a lot of uh, uh, similarities um, in the cast and that everybody is, uh, are, uh, they're all pretty real people. You're not um, dealing with any of the, the cliche uh, actor hang-ups or star trips. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a nice feel of synergy on the set and it's, it's real comfortable to work with. Does Sandy try to treat you like one of her, one of her kids, uh, Jason? When uh, when you're on the set, does Sandy try to give you advice and and mom you? No, no, not at all. There's um, we laugh we've, a lot. Yeah, we've got a lot of mutual respect, and um, I I come to her with a lot of uh, a lot of things that I might go to Justine with. If uh, but uh, Sandy's a little more readily available at the time, so she. Uh, she, she plays a good, uh, a good older sister well. Mm -hmm. Since you brought up Justine, let me ask you a question. How does your relationship with your sister help uh, ground you or, or help you in your own life? Uh, well, it's, it's real nice to, to have uh, somebody who's, who's at the same point in their career uh, simultaneously. So uh, uh, it's, it's advantageous when things do get a little uh, out there and, and confusing and, and hard sometimes uh, and likewise for her we we, uh, we have a lot of talks like that and um, and uh, she's she's real good to talk to in that sense and and I I think I throw some good advice her way sometimes too we're uh, we're real close is it possible to keep the competitive angle out since you're both in the same field yeah and uh, plus you know she's a female and I'm a male and we don't really we don't we don't really go up for the same parts or things like that, and, and fortunately, uh, like I said, we're at the same point. We haven't really had a dry spell yet, so uh, there really wouldn't be any opportunity for it. Uh, not that there, not that it would surface if there was. Mm -hmm. Sandy, let me ask you a question now. How do you think this show, in its fourth season, is addressing the the needs and questions of real life families? Hmm. I know you've. I'm not even sure that that's uh, the purpose of a show like this. I think they do in small ways and recognizable ways. Um, it's not going to address the needs of of all kinds of families because it's a particular family and probably uh, answers questions for particular kinds of family. I, I think to to say that we uh, would appeal to. Um, a family that doesn't, in other words, we're obviously a family that's doing pretty well and can afford things, and it is larger than life. It's not real. I mean, I dress in clothes that no psychologist in a high school <laughs> could ever afford, um, and I don't think the purpose is to be absolutely real. What it does is it brings up a small problem that families might face and hopefully deals with it in a way that's, that gives advice that might be helpful. Um, but that's certainly not the obligation no, of the show. It's, it's, it's an entertaining It's supposed thing. to be entertainment. It's not a a message show. It just isn't. I know one particular episode that was very interesting was the one where uh, Jason was was considering, you know, he and his girlfriend were considering, you know, having sex and then they decided not to. And there was a real strong message, I think, in that show. Yeah, well, occasionally they, they, they do tackle something and, and jump into it with both feet and, and really uh, write, a, write a nice script. Um, but, uh, but, like I said, it's, it's um, it is a sitcom, and it's and it's supposed to be fun to watch, and it comes on after Alf, and it's on at 8:30, and um, <laughs> but uh, it's certainly not at the expense of their integrity. Um, it's uh, it is, I happen I I think that it's uh, definitely in the in the upper uh, level in that uh, too. in that uh, category. Yeah. How did things change, Jason, when Sandy came on the show? What did she bring to to the show? Um, well, she brought a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, friendliness. I'm going to try not to be cliche and say something like perky or something, because I know you hate that. <laughs> not slapping. But, um, she's, uh, she's just a great, um, friendly, warm, nice person. Not to say that Valerie wasn't. I got along with Valerie really well. Mm -hmm. But, um, uh, the, the, the style of the show changed, um, somewhat because it's an aunt and not a mom. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so the, the tone of the show got a little bit lighter um, and uh, uh, as a result it's a, it's a, 
it's a, a much more of a, of a playful um, atmosphere uh, than it was before. Sandy, since uh, Jason has mentioned the word perky, I know that's something that has been written about you over the years, and I, I wonder if it was a problem. Were there times when you just wished you would never see that word perky again? Yes, but now that I'm 43 this week, I'm <laughs> thrilled to see that word. <laughs> uh, happy didn't birthday. Tell me that. No, it's not yet. Oh. It's this, I'm the 20, Monday. I'll be 43. Did you find yourself playing up to it, or were you trying to play against it? I wasn't trying to do anything except work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is the truth of it. I mean, I maybe early, early on uh, when I first was doing television, because I'd done theater my whole life and I did whatever roles came along, and, and they weren't necessarily perky roles, but I did a commercial where I was perky and sort of dizzy, and I went into a series, and, and when you do something and you're kind of doing it well, it, in television it's such a broad appeal and you're seen by so many people, then if you do it well, you get to do the same thing over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. That's the trap of it, mm -hmm. quite frankly. Do you put a lot of pressure on yourself, Sandy? Are you very critical of your performing? or Do you, do you always feel like, I should have done that better, I could have done that better? I think there's a certain tendency to do that. Uh, I do it less now because I have a lot of outside interests. I have a family, I have friends, I have a life. And I think when you only have your career going, which sometimes in, in, you know, in the beginning that's what people do have, you tend to be more critical because you've got so much invested in it. I don't have the time anymore to do that. I do the best I can and I let it go, which I think in television is very healthy. Because if you hang on to it, you're gonna go around being unhappy and miserable all the time about a situation you can't do anything about. Mm -hmm. Jason, how about you? Do you put a lot of pressure on yourself as a performer? Um, I'm, uh, I have a lot of fun with the, with the, the responsibilities uh, that I have on the Hogan family. I have a lot of fun with my creative process as an actor, not to sound schmaltzy, but... Um, also, Jason directed an episode this year and he was damn good. <laughs> but um, I, uh, I, I do still have a lot of uh, um, strong goals um, as an actor because I respect the craft. Um, so uh, I, I don't put a lot of pressure on myself in this particular medium because I am real comfortable in it because I've been doing it a while. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I do cross the bridge uh, perhaps and start doing a little more feature work which, uh, which is a little more lending to the types of things I aspire to do, uh, I, I imagine the pressure will will escalate mm -hmm. um, that that I put on myself. So, uh, but I can handle it. According to the teen teen fanzines, you are you're a teen idol. I mean, you're 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 a sex symbol, and and the kids. God, really... I thought that would change when I turned twenty too. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about that? Does it embarrass you, or is it kind of neat, kind of fun? I well, yeah, it's kind of neat. It's kind of fun. It's. Um, it's not something I, I spend any amount of time really thinking about, but uh, you know, if you're if you're under 25 and you're on a television show, you're in the magazines, you know. So it's uh, it's really just kind of uh, it comes with a job, um, and you can't really take any of it personally. Um, it is advantageous uh, sometimes because you are in a high risk sort of uh, uh, scene when you're when you're in front of a, a television camera and and a lot of insecurities come into play sometimes uh, when you uh, when, when you are in this kind of a job so it's it's nice to have I guess in reserve if you ever need to pull from it um, but uh, it, I never seem to have to but mm -hmm. uh, it that is a, a plus I guess also if you're uh, Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for talking with us this morning.